What is up everybody, Mikey Dare Panzerator here with Hearts of Iron 4. Alright. And uh, I have an idea. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try a little air oh wait. Ungetator. Yeah, oh we still need <laughs> we still need to redraw the offensive line or the front lines. I've completely forgot about that. Um right, so I really oh no. We have some uh Right, Slight also... issues with the Soviets pushing back. You know what I think we should do? We should go here. We should be faster than them. Oh, I, I kind of really would have preferred um, encircling that division, but whatever. Um, are they really pushing back any more significant? Where's Heinz going? Oh no, Heinz is... Hmm... This isn't what I wanted. No, I want all of y'all to go. I don't know, like right here. Okay, so we might have completely screwed up our um, our plans. How about these guys? They are super weak, probably because we have a massive equipment shortage. I mean, not really. Oh, but manpower. Ooh, we're about to run out of men. Yeah, we need to get women in the workforce, like, now. Rommel? Ooh, do we want him to be... Combi well, he needs to get Panzer Leader. Combined Arm Expert. But, hmm. Motorized and mechanized. Let's give him that. Let's definitely give him that, because... Seems to be a good idea. Let's go kill that one cavalry division. Hey, yo, call, come to arms, please. Estonia, why are you not helping? No, like, attack them. So we have a, a, a slight Soviet problem. I'm getting all of Rom will sign to this. And then I'm going to get the rest of the front line assigned to, well, the rest. Okay. So we'll use Rommel as a little bit of thunder and lightning type of deal. Um, actually, I have an idea. This is in the Ukraine where we have a lot of bombers. So what I might, what I'm going to do, uh... 400 airplanes. So let's get... Oh, we're out of manpower. Okay. Well, th this is fantastic. This is wonderful. Oh, Estonia actually joined the war. How shocking, actually. Well, that's a lot of encircled Soviet divisions. The Polish are pushing forward. Um, good for them. I, I would, but... So what we're waiting on is we're waiting on 100 manpower... 100 political power to do women in the workforce and that will allow us to get more manpower and apparently we're demobilizing people well it's mainly because of our factory production but yeah okay so 1941 tech let's definitely get all the industrial stuff as soon as possible as which is tr tradition so we'll wait for Rommel to get here and then I want to crush all these divisions so that would be good but yeah almost there 94 oh boy this is um ooh. I'll take Leningrad like no go up to here and then you help take Leningrad. Right. Yeah, do that. Because attacking over a river is a dumb I'm idea. But taking Leningrad is very, very important. Um, you want to join the faction? I'm not the faction leader. Okay, yeah, this is going to cause problems eventually. Okay. But we'll be fine. Women in the workforce, get me that manpower back. Rommel, are you ready? 
Where the hell are some of them coming from? You know what? Just, um... Push forward. See what you can do. Ah, uh, this is... This is this is fine, trust me. So, we've got troops attacking Leningrad. And I'm actually going to pull you back. And have you attack from also not across the river. Because attacking from across the river is a dumb idea. I mean, sometimes you have to do it, but this is not one of those times. So, y'all should, yeah, attack anywhere you can win. But, in terms of manpower, ooh, can we close that off? Try and close off the gap. Try and, and get a get a little bit of encirclement going here. Alright, Rommel. Keep, just keep on attacking. Just wipe them all out. And we got Leningrad. Very nice. So we get Elastic Defense. Uh, mobile Infantry. Infantry mode. So do we want tanks? We want tanks. We want tanks. I mean, that, that, that's the thing. It, we're we're going to have a mixed army of both tanks and, um, what's it called anyway? Of tank and, tanks and mo motorized anyway, but, you know, for now, it's like, yeah, you definitely want that. Oh, that's meta. Okay, just keep on, just keep on attacking Rommel. Do you want to do forced attack? No, I will not do forced attack. So, we need more motorized, Mo or, yeah, we need more motorized. What are we constructing? We're constructing a lot of infrastructure, which will help us out in the long run, but for the short term, not so great. Speaking of short term, are you trying to kill me yet? Uh, where's war with Germany? War with Germany's down here, and you haven't done issued gas masks yet. What about you? You're in construction engineering. You don't know what you're doing yet, um, politically. Well, I can't stage popularity. Can I start a communist coup and then kill you because you're communist? That'd be one hell of a way to go to war. But we're not going to do that. Okay. Um, ooh, speaking of our defense forces, yeah, they're all kind of shocked by them out of that I changed them. Did we get that encirclement? It was kind of over here. We might have. I think we did. Just everyone keep attacking. And Odessa is done. Okay, well, what we're gonna use Rommel to do what Rommel does best. And take Moscow. Let's go right here. Um and let's have him spearhead Moscow. They are the Panzer Elite, born to compete, never retreat. That like one province like section, but that, that doesn't look too great. But that's fine. Alright, you need to I don't know, let's say let's say yeah, let's get Let's get close to Stalingrad, but not quite. So let's go to there. Red Army. Y'all need to do the next best thing. Tactical air effort, okay. Y'all go there. Hines is, uh, the rest is just Hines. Hines, you need to, I don't know. Empire of Japan has declared war in China. Ooh. Very interesting. Alright, so we need a new national focus. Um, what do we do? Tackle the communist threat. What does this do? Uh, annex war goal in the Soviet Union. But we're already at war with the Soviets, so... Um... Get all of this stuff. Align Romania. 
What is, is Romania in the faction? No, but they're very big and very mean. Um, let's get a line, Romania. Let's try and make them a, uh, uh, what's it called? A, um, Empire of Ukraine is prepared to war on China. China, 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 Niner, Niner, Niner. Alright, so let's get the, this guy, kind of, yeah, let's get our main offensive line for the whole group to basically be the same thing. There we go. So we'll do a little more planning. And it's March. But we have zero manpower. So we'll kind of let that recover a little bit. And um, we will uh, attack when appropriate. So I'm just going to speed forward a little bit. See what's going on. Uh, the Soviet Union. Well, they're just kind of there. Can anyone get promoted? I don't... I don't I don't know if anyone can be promoted. Um, what about here? Are there any other generals? No. Okay. Well, there we go. No nothing really to do. We could do staff off this plan for a couple. Oh no, not. We didn't need that for Albert. Crap. Let's do it for Heinz though. We will see what they can do. Uh, did the Polish get across the river? I think the Poles did. We've the, the casualties are pretty substantial, I will say. Hmm. Why is the manpower at zero? We mobilized seventy-three thousand per day. Eh. We might. We, we're, we're gonna need to just. Bump this one up to extensive cons to extensive conscription. <clears throat> but I mean, women in the workforce. Now we have that. That is good. So Rommel's ready to just get going, and that is a weakness. That uh, March. So it's April. Hmm. This is this would not be a good opportunity to to pass by. We're building more factories. Getting manpower wherever we can. Hmm. What's the problem? Do we have we have all the medium. Ooh, we need to tell them to build more stuff. Uh, well, in terms of oil, we're pretty good everywhere. Although, let's just get some of these. Pro provinces that are at a hundred up a little bit. Let's get uh, some infrastructure. Okay, up there. So let's get some more oil there. And then in terms of military factories, all of these. Let's do all of that. And then let's get the coastal infrastructure up. And then let's get some military, some dockyards. So, actually, let's not do that. Uh, yeah, we don't need refineries in all of the coast, so we'll just focus all on dockyards. For now, you can be fixed later. So, there we go. With that, we are going to make Germany a quite the economic powerhouse in terms of the military um, and make build up the Navy too because the Navy is quite important uh, especially because we're going to do all that insufficient manpower to deploy our super heavy well now that we've finished building the super heavy so that'll be one super heavy and then I guess that means we could use two more regular battleships. So, two Scharnhorsts for the Kriegsmarine. Just two. Got atomic research. Um, oh yeah, ooh, that's good. It's very good. We can nuke people at some point. Let's get the factories because 
more factories is a good thing. But yeah, we, we need to just get more manpower. Mobilization speed is something to consider. Um, we are getting absolutely shellacked by Russian bombers, which is not good. Poland is... I don't know what Poland's doing. Um, but the offensive has halted. I don't want to attack because we don't have manpower. But... Moving, mobilizing... Hmm. Total manpower. Huh. So I think, uh, so we have 75 million total manpower. Yeah, we just don't have enough people to join the military. Okay, well, how do we get out of this? What does this, war bonds? Okay, we're, we're gonna hold off on the war bonds until we can up our conscription law. Because we need better conscription laws. See, that was 1,000, and it's just, look, just more manpower, gone, more, gone. I mean, it makes sense a little bit, but, you know. Is it because we made our garrison, like, super divisions? I think it is. I definitely think it is. Oh, but we got the Leopard. Very nice, we got the Leopard. Um, 1941. Still need to get more special forces type stuff. Still could get better radio companies. Uh... Could go down this path. Let's see. But we're doing all the industrial stuff. We should get the Panzer Volk. We will get the Panzer IV. And we will start building the Leopards. Because Leopards are good. Alright, ooh, we got Armored Spearhead. Let's get sh Schwerpunkt. Whatever Schwerpunkt means. I think it means like spearhead or penetration or something. Uh, La 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 look at Latvia. See Estonia, some of this land could be yours, but you were stupid. Okay, now it is time to go to extensive conscription, which will give us even more manpower. So, should be mobilizing. Well, we're still mobilizing not as fast as we can replace it. This is not good. Especially during the middle of when we could have an offensive. Yeah, okay, well. Let's, um. Synthetic robber. Eh. Naval bomber models. Uh. Radar tech. Let's get long range escorts and, uh. The long range effort. Medicinum. Exerts influence in provisional democratic Greece. Greece is communist. And Romania could declare war on them. Okay, that's interesting. Um, but that is all the time we have for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I did not foresee these manpower shortages actually coming to the fruition. I'm, I'm a little shocked that we actually have manpower shortages. This is uh, far from ideal. But what are you going to do? So, uh, everyone's actually leveled up decently. We're just defending against the Soviets, I guess, just letting them waste more manpower. But when we actually get enough manpower to attack, then we will do just that. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to leave a like, consider subscribing to the channel, follow me on Twitter, and check out my Patreon page. Thank you all so much for watching, and until the next one, this is Mikey Panzer signing out. See ya, nerds!